All right, good morning and welcome to Yoga for Athletes. My name is Jenna Cassidy. I am your instructor today and welcome to your mat. Um, we'll get started today on our backs and take any comfortable position that you'd like. Maybe an early Shavasana works to relax the body into the ground and I'll meet you there. All right, so as you find your place on your mat, extend your legs long. Let the feet splay out a bit wider and then take your palms and place them so that the palms face upwards on the mat. Let the shoulders draw apart from one another so the chest broadens. And the body begins to relax into the ground. We'll start our practice today with three cleansing breaths. Let's all inhale through the nose together. And let that breath fill the body entirely. And when you're ready, exhale, open mouth. And pull that breath out of the body so that there's meaning behind that. There's release with the breath. Inhale. And bring into the body what you need for the day to feel restored and revived. And then open mouth, exhale. Release what you no longer need to allow you to feel that way. Last time together, inhale through the nose. And then audible open mouth, exhale. And from here, seal the lips. Begin to breathe in and out of the nose only. And allow that breath to be curious. Oftentimes we send the breath deep into the belly or high into the lungs, exploring the space of the torso. But today, let's explore beyond that. Integrating the entire body, from hips downward towards heels, and then shoulders downward towards fingertips. On this next inhale, breathe in deeply, send the breath to the base of the belly, and then visualize the breath traveling deeper within the hips, the legs. Allow that breath to release the muscles from the bones, giving them a break from the work that they do every day. And then exhale. Inhale once again, breathe in deeply into the body, visualize the breath circulating around those tight hips, across the quads, the knees to the calves. Release the lower legs to the ground. Give your body a break. And then on this next breath, we'll breathe high into the chest. Expand across the chest towards the shoulders. Let the breath travel down the upper arms, releasing the triceps towards the ground, the biceps away from the muscles and the biceps away from the bones towards the triceps. Use your next inhale to travel further down the arms to the forearms, allowing the backs of the arms to rest upon the ground, the backs of the palms, the fingers to spread wide. And you feel this deep integration within the body, how each component works with the other, how the top works with the back, or the top with the bottom, the front with the back, the side to the side. The expansion on inhale, the retraction on exhale, and then blink the eyes open, and bend the knees from here. Draw the knees into the belly, squeeze the thighs in, press the thighs towards the belly with a little bit of pressure. Rock back and forth along the low back. And then take circles at the base of the spine, releasing any tension in the lumbar spine. And feeling the sacrum press firmly along the ground as the knees come to the front of the space. Change direction gently. And so today we'll work on building our breath awareness with the body, lengthening, opening, finding mobility within places that are often overworked and tight. 
And come to stillness now. Begin those circles at the hip joints. So thighs come wide and then back together. And change direction whichever way you chose to begin with. We're wide back together. Wide back together. And come to stillness now. Place the feet on the ground underneath the knees. Take a block between the thighs. Run the block lengthwise from groin to inner knees. Give that a squeeze to activate the inner thighs. Then tuck the low belly towards the spine so you feel a gentle pressure of the low back down to the ground. That should roll the hip girdle from facing upwards to neutral. And then palms by the hips. Press into the feet, the palms. Inhale, lift the hips towards the ceiling. Take a moment here. Take either palm towards the low back. Feel the curvature of the low back as it connects to the sacrum. That's natural, but we're going to work to lengthen the spine a bit. So press the low back towards the sacrum. Draw the glutes towards the hamstrings. Direct the tailbone towards the inner knees and pause there. Low bridge with this firm activation. From the belly towards the knees on the front and back bodies. On this last cycle of breath, let's lift the palms towards the back of the space. It should feel really good and enable the hips to lift just a bit higher without losing the integrity of the spinal alignment and the length we just created. And then exhale, sweep everything back down to the ground. Let's take rolling bridges through that three times, pausing where you need to find the alignment. So we'll work on that inhale, lifting, aligning, and bringing the palms as well. Exhale, support the lowering back down to the ground. And the breath is supporting our movement here, being mindful of our entries and exits, the transitions, as much as the postures themselves. And then exhale, lower everything down to the ground. Keep the block where it is, lift the knees over the hips and keep them directly over the hips so you feel that low belly turn on once again. We often work the upper abdominals, but here we're gonna press the low belly down so we feel the pressure against the sacrum. And that's where really the root of our strength comes from. Bring the palms out wide like a T or bend at the elbows for goalpost arms, inhale. Exhale, both knees come left, stacking right hip upon left. Once you get to left, hover and press the knee a bit forward, the right knee so it stacks over left. Feel the lengthening across the right side body, the obliques, the intercostals, across the outer edge of the hip to the outer quad. And then come back through center, roll along the sacrum. Take that moment there to feel neutral. Inhale, exhale, draw belly button as both knees go to right. And this time, working to stack left knee over right, hovering, lengthening side body. Mindfully building spinal mobility, sending breath around the vertebrae. Oxygen to the discs, keeping them supple, soft, supportive. And come back to center, two more times side to side on your breath. Pause if you'd like. If that feels better to your body, then do that. And as I guide you through practice, give yourself permission, first and foremost, to be here. And second, to modify as you need to support your body where it is today. We'll take this last time side to side, long breath, curious breath. Maybe you only send the breath to the hips. Maybe today it's to the knees, the calves, the Achilles. Maybe it's typically to the shoulders and today it's to the palms and the fingertips. See what that feels like. Be curious within your body. And come back to center. Let's take that block out from under or between the thighs. Bring it to the side of your mat. Roll to seated. We'll take a cross-legged position and modify double pigeon. Left shin in front of right. Stacking ankles underneath the knees. 
And if you'd like, sit upon a pillow to relax the hips or give your spine some support. From here, inhale, palms come up towards the ceiling and exhale, draw the belly button in. Continue to lift and lengthen on inhale. And then exhale, support the spine. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. And find a bit more length on the side body, inhale. Exhale, twist to right side. And bring the right palm behind the body, left palm on top of right thigh. And right palm acts as an extension of the spine so that the shoulders can stay over hips, ears over shoulders. Left palm, a bit of pressure on outer edge of right leg helps to deepen the twist. And keep the neck long. May gaze over the heart. And come back to center, inhale. As you exhale, twist to left side. Left palm behind the body as that extension, right palm on the outer edge of the thigh. And finding that same alignment of shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders. And drawing length with the crown of the head higher. Grounding with the sit bones. Come to center, inhale, both palms go high. This time as you exhale, draw the belly button into the spine, hinge forward at the hips. Work to keep the same length of the spine that we created from lumbar moving from sacrum. Then bring palms down to the ground. Inhale, draw the chest forward, broaden the sternum. Exhale, tuck the chin in. Walk the palms forward, one palm print on inhale. Exhale, draw the belly in, tuck the chin in. Find that active stretch, two more breaths. So inhale, finding the length. Can you release the hips? Exhale and lower with length. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Exhale, explore that space. Walk the palms back up to the shins here. We'll exchange the crossing of the legs. So right shin in front of left, keeping that modified double pigeon. Shins parallel to one another. And this time, inhale, palms come out wide like a T. Exhale and pause. Lengthen out from shoulders to fingertips. And then cross at the elbows. We'll find any variation of eagle wrap that works for you. So right arm will be underneath left to begin with, and it can be palms to shoulders. Or if you would like single wrap or double wrap, you're welcome to take that. Once you find that, elbows come up to shoulder height and palms drift away from the forehead. Tuck the chin in only enough that the neck is long. And we'll stay here on inhale and then exhale. Twist at the belly, at the torso, bringing both elbows to the right side first. So notice that we need to use the strength of the core and the mobility here to support the twist rather than the arms. Come back to center. Undo this, roll the shoulders. So release the shoulders for the moment from Eagle Wrap. Getting into the tight shoulders, maybe stretching the chin down, lifting back up. Both arms come out wide like a T. Find that length first. Inhale. Exhale for that strength. Maintain the long spine. Cross at the elbows left underneath right this time. Again, any variation that works in your body could just be palms to shoulders or take single wrap or double wrap. Lift the elbows to shoulder height. Draw the palms forward. Bring the breath into the body. Be curious with it. Feel where you hold tension. Where can you release in a healthy way? And then bring both elbows towards the left. And come back to center. Release eagle wrap here. Roll those shoulders. Hmm, feel out the kinks of the body, the crinkles. Whatever feels good for you, take some healthy movements in the upper body and the shoulders. And then reach the palms upwards towards the ceiling again. Find that length of spine. Inhale. Exhale, hinge forward at the hip joint. 
reach the fingertips forward, broaden the sternum, palms to ground. Inhale, chest comes forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, tuck the chin in. Inhale, walk the palms forward, a palm print. Exhale, draw the belly in to support the lengthening. Two more active breaths, inhaling, finding that length, the release, exhale, exploring that space with strength. Walk the palms back to the shins, uncross the legs. We'll bring the hips back to child's pose. Your body, your variation. So maybe with the release of the lumbar from the sacrum, bringing hips back to heels and sitting down works for you now. And if it doesn't, please support the body with the props that you need to lengthen the spine. Maybe block under forehead, maybe blanket between hips and heels. And then send the breath to the low back. Feel the vertebrae move from one another as the spine lengthens. Crawl the fingertips forward. Lengthen and strengthen the arms. Wrap the triceps down to the ground. Biceps in towards the ears so you feel the back body expand. And the shoulder heads draw away from the ears in a healthy way. And take another breath here in child's pose as we come through movements and postures. If there's ever a time where you feel you'd like to ground and reconnect the breath with the body. Reset your practice. You're welcome to come to child's pose. You're welcome to come to easy seated pose. Anything that works for you. And then join as you'd like. Inhale, rise to tabletop. And stack wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Lengthen the spine. And then tuck the toes behind. Expand across the flesh of the feet, the soles of the feet. Draw the heels so they're over the center of the toes. So sometimes we come outwards. So just notice, peek back and bring them up over center. You should feel that activate the soles of the feet. Hug the belly in to support the back. And then draw the chest a bit forward through the biceps. The same action that we often feel in cobra. So triceps wrap back to outer hips, biceps a bit forward. Press away from the ground with active palms. Inhale, draw the chest forward, find cow pose, tailbone head tilt up. We're doing it with tuck toes today. Exhale, press away. We'll take that one more time. Inhale, come through cow. And then exhale, round back, tuck chin in, find cat. And this time I'd like for you to come in through cow and cat with knees off the ground. So we're gonna lift those knees off the ground, start to activate the arms. This will help check our alignment. Inhale. Come into active cow, knees lifted. Exhale, press away, round back to cat. Inhale through cow. Exhale to cat. Again, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. And this time, press the hips back. Find down dog. And let the heels descend down to the ground. Peek forward at the palms. If you have tight shoulders, you're welcome to rotate the palms slightly outward so that the webbing between thumb and pointer finger face the front. Traveling our, or bringing our awareness upwards from the palms, wrap those triceps to the outer thighs, wrap the biceps towards the ears, and then lift the shoulder heads away from the ear lobe so that you feel the shoulder blades draw upwards towards the spine. Hug the belly in towards the spine. And then work on lengthening the sacrum from the lumbar spine, directing the tailbone in the same line as the crown of the head upwards. So not creating too extreme of a tilt in that back body where we're reaching the tailbone towards the ceiling, but rather towards the back wall at the same angle that our head is lifting from the ground along the back body. Soft bend to the knees here, let the heels relax down, calves, hamstrings. And then inhale, shift forward to plank pose. We'll find strength and alignment in this posture. Walk the palms so they're underneath the shoulders. Might be a small adjustment. Press away from the ground. Find that wrapping of the triceps back towards the outer ankles here. Lift the right foot off the ground. Steady hips. Breathe in. And point to the toes here. Take your next inhale. Then exhale. Thigh comes underneath the body. Steady gaze. Steady shoulders. Steady hips. Just 
warming the core. Extend the leg back, touch the toes down. Left foot lifts. And point to the toes, take the inhale, and then exhale on your body. Extend back. And toes touch down. One more breath, inhale, find that long, strong posture for yourself. Draw the chest forward, lengthen from head to hips to heels. Then exhale, hips come all the way back, down dog. Lift the right leg behind, inhale. Keep the hips neutral. Shift forward to plank pose. Inhale, exhale, thigh under body, knee upwards towards elbows. Take the inhale, then exhale, step the right foot down between the palms. Left knee comes down, untuck the toes here. Draw the right hip back a bit, left hip forward. Pin those outer hips together. And then from that stability, press away from the ground. Low crescent lunge, lift the palms. Notice the low back here, work to lengthen up and out of the sacrum by pressing into the right heel, pressing into the top of the left foot, letting the hips drift forward with the support of the belly towards the spine. Bend the elbows, take goalpost arms, broaden the elbows away from your peripheral. Maintaining low crescent lunge, rotating only at the spine, twist towards the right side without bringing the elbows closer towards one another. So we're twisting to the right, keeping the palms in our peripheral, using the spinal mobility to support the movement. And come back to center. Bring the palms down behind the back. Interlace right thumb over left if that's okay for you and your body. Hug the shoulders up to the ears and draw them back down. That should find some length for the neck. Lift over the heart, expansion across the chest. Maybe the hips drift a bit forward. And then release the palms down, frame the right foot, tuck the left toes from here. Pin the outer hips together once again. Find that stability, then bend the left knee deeply. We're gonna press the hips a bit further back, rise into crescent. And crescent posture, fingertips are reaching towards the ceiling. And keep this long left quad, big opening in the left hip, then bend the elbows once again, goal post, arms, inhale. Exhale, twist to right, Still drawing those elbows away from one another, using the strength of the obliques, spinal mobility to support the twist. And come back to center. Straighten the left leg. We'll take crescent, inhale. And then exhale, fold forward, frame the right foot. Palms come down towards the ground. Bring a block underneath the left palm. Lengthen forward first. And then as you exhale, we'll bring right palm to low back, draw the shoulder head away from the ear down the back body. One more breath, inhale, lengthen. This time with right palm still on low back, twist towards right side. So we're keeping the shoulder out of play for just a moment. Feel the twisting in the spine. Now from here, you're welcome to take the right palm towards the ceiling. And we're finding that opening in the mobility before the extension of the arms come into play. And bring the right palm back down. Frame the right foot. Inhale, there in runner's lunge. And then exhale, step the right foot to meet left in plank pose. And shift forward to the toe tips so the shoulder heads come over the wrist line. Inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows halfway, maintaining the same plank posture in the body. Bring the knees to the ground here. Inhale, draw the chest forward, supported high cobra. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift the knees, chaturanga. Press into the palms, inhale to plank. Exhale, bring hips back, down dog. Strong, mindful movements here. And take a breath. Inhale and exhale. Lift the left leg, inhale. Shift forward to plank. Keep the shoulders, the hips steady, inhale. Exhale, thigh comes underneath body. Inhale there, exhale, left foot steps down between palms. Right knee to ground, 
untuck the right nose, the right toes, pin the outer hips together, press into the ground with the left heel, top of right foot, rise to low crescent. We're being very specific with our grounding elements where we're pressing, pinning, and lifting, how we're extending. One more breath here, deep opening for the right hip, then bend the elbows, draw them out of your peripheral. Notice the length across the chest, the sternum. Inhale, exhale, twist to left side, any amount that your spine allows, any amount your obliques allow. Notice how sometimes that right arm wants to come forward through the mobility of the shoulder. We're just working the mobility of the spine. And then come back to center. Release the palms back, interlace, left thumb over right if that's okay, or use a towel to help. Let the hips drop forward a bit, pressing away from the ground with your grounding elements, broadening, breathing into the chest. Release the palms down. Frame left foot and tuck the right toes. Find runner's lunge to begin with and then bend the right knee deeply so you'll pin the outer hips, press away from the ground. As you press lift, you'll feel a big expansion across the right hip flexor, psoas and quad. Yeah, and then inhale, palms come high. Modified high crescent. Building some strength here in the body as we're letting the legs release. Then bend the elbows. Draw them apart, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. And the body may be shaking, that's totally normal and natural. We're asking it to do things and be in spaces and places we aren't normally. Come back to center. Reach the palms, straighten the right leg, take crescent. And then exhale, frame the left foot. Bring the block underneath the right palm. Inhale, lengthen here. Pin the hips, neutralize them. You'll feel that release if, it, if they're both in the center line. Left palm comes to low back. Lengthen out on inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Draw the shoulder head away from the ear, shoulder blade down the back. You're welcome to stay here or extend the arm upward. Using the inhales, we'll lengthen, and then exhale, strengthen, explore. Finding that balance between strength and ease within the posture. Bring the left palm back down, frame left foot, block off to the side. Inhale, runner's lunge, lengthen. Exhale, press away from the ground, step to plank pose. Shift forward to the toe tips, inhale. Bend the elbows, exhale, lower halfway. Knees come to ground, inhale, supported, high cobra. Draw the chest through, and then re-bend the elbows on exhale, lift the knees, press to plank, inhale, hips come back, exhale. Rise to the toes, big inhale. Bend the knees deeply, press the hips all the way back, lengthen the spine. Rise to the toes again, inhale. Exhale, heels descend towards ground, long, strong down dog. Walk forward to the front of the mat, footprint by footprint, feeling out the flesh of the feet. Meeting in a forward fold with feet underneath the hip sockets. So about two fists width distance between those feet depending on your hip girdle. But nothing too wide, bend the knees softly, let the top of the head drop down towards the ground. Shift the hips over the heels. You can let those palms dangle. You could take opposite elbows. Do what feels good to you for the moment. And if the eyes are closed, blink open the eyes. Bring the palms to the high shins. Press the palms and shins into one another to lengthen the spine forward. Half lift on inhale. And forward fold, exhale. Again, inhale, half lift. Find that length for the spine, draw the chest through, exhale, lower. And press away from the ground this time. Inhale, come all the way to stand. Find the length, draw that strength out from the soles of the feet up the inseams of the legs, across the pelvis to the chest. Keep reaching the fingertips towards the ceiling here. Find that length for the body. 
and bend the elbows. Starting at the top of the mat with goalpost arms. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to right side. Working that same broadening of the chest, the same mobility of the spine. And come back to center. Inhale there, lengthen. Exhale, twist to left. And drawing the elbows apart from one another. And come back to center. Reach the palms towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, fold forward, palms to ground. Half lift on inhale. Exhale, step the left foot back, runner's lunge. Rise to high crescent on inhale. Pin the outer hips together. Bend the left knee, bend the elbows. Lower the left knee towards the ground. Keep the elbows broadening across. One more breath here. And then high crescent. Straighten the left leg any amount. You're welcome to keep a soft bend if that helps release the low back. And reach the fingertips towards the sky. And bring the palms to heart center. Lengthen the spine. Hinge forward at the hips. Torso over front thigh. And take the inhale there. And then exhale. Twist to the right side. You're welcome not to tuck that elbow. Just explore without using the arms to increase the mobility, but can you lengthen from the low back, twist deeper with the obliques. And then inhale, come back to center, stay at the same angle, one line of energy, torso, hovering over front thigh, release palms to the back of the space, broaden your chest. You're welcome to stay here with airplane arms or interlace, drawing the soft knuckles to the back, Broadening across the shoulders, pinning outer right hip in. Strengthening that hip here. And then release the palms, frame the right foot, take high lizard, right palm on the inner edge, right foot comes to the outer edge of the mat. Let the left thigh drop down towards the ground. That should feel a nice release for the outer right hip here. Keep a strong left leg. So resist the ears to bend the knee, press back through the heel, whatever that means. Then with that strength, Draw the left hip forward and downward. And you'll find the opening there across the top of the quad. You're welcome to come down to forearms here if your body allows, or bring the forearms to a block. Okay, one more breath here in high lizard, any variation, then we'll meet with palms. Keep the left palm grounded, inhale, twist open to right. Right palm rises. Maybe come to the outer edge of the right foot. Feel how that feels on the outer edge of the right hip, the glute. And bring the right palm back down. Bring the left knee down for low lizard. If the quad is healthy, if the knee is healthy, bend the left foot so the heel comes towards the glute. Wrap the right arm behind to the low back. If the foot is there, you're welcome to take the foot or continue in this variation with palm on low back. Whichever works in your body. You're working an opening for the chest, the shoulder, and the quad. Release the foot if it is in hand. High lizard inhale. Glide right foot back for modified side plank. Right heel or right foot's down that hip line. Rotate to outer edge of both feet. Press away from the ground so the hips are not sinking, but pressing. That'll turn on the outer right hip. Extend the right palm upwards first, and then forward. And feel that stretch across the right hip, across the right side body. One more breath, inhale. Transition to plank with control. Use that full exhale. Shift forward to toe tips, inhale. Bend elbows halfway on exhale. Knees up or down, your choice, your body. Inhale, peel heart forward. Find the back bend. Lift the heart upwards, forwards. Notice the back bend behind the heart. And press the hips up away. Use the core to support the transition down dog. One more cleansing breath in down dog. And step the feet together at the back of the mat. Lift the right leg. Open the hip. 
Stack the right hip upon the left. Direct the kneecap towards the ceiling. Press the body back and away. Extend the right leg, then neutralize the hips. Inhale. Exhale, right foot steps forward between the palms, runner's lunge. Set the feet for a high crescent. Stay in runner's lunge, lengthen. Then reach the fingertips to the back of the space. Pin that right hip in. We're shifting to warrior three with strength and control. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hug belly in, press into right heel. Lift the left heel off ground. Neutralize the hips, so both face downward. Draw the energy up the inseam of the standing leg. One more breath, warrior three. And then come all the way to stand, top of mat. Woo! That was a tricky transition for me. <laughs> Inhale, reach the palms towards the ceiling. Bend the elbows here, broaden across the chest. Inhale, neutral, exhale, twist to right. You're welcome this time to extend the arms by unbending the elbows. Work not to bring them together with the shoulders, but to broaden the palms, stretching away from one another. Inhale to center. Bend the elbows, twist to left. Staying as you are, we're unbending the elbows only, reaching fingertips away from one another. And come back to center. Inhale, exhale, fold forward, fingertips towards ground. And take that half lift, inhale, find length for the spine, palms on shins, fingertips on ground, any place you can find it in a healthy manner. And then step the right foot back for a low runner's lunge. From low runner's lunge, bend the right knee. Prepare to rise to crescent. Find that foundation, press away from the ground, rise to crescent. And once you have crescent, you're welcome to straighten the back leg any amount. Keep reaching that left knee forward. And then re-bend the right knee, bend the elbows. Lower the right knee towards the ground. And twist to the left. Come back to center. High crescent. Straighten the right leg, bring the palms to heart center. Hinge forward from the hips, lengthen the spine. Without touching the elbow, if you didn't on the other side, take the inhale for length, exhale, twist deeper. Using spinal mobility, oblique strength, pulling left hip back and in, drawing right hip forward and in. We'll come back to center from here. Reach the fingertips to the back of the space. Stay here or interlace left thumb over right. Draw the knuckles back. Lengthen the spine. Keep strong hips. Steady breath. And curiously exploring new spaces in the body. Release the palms to the ground. And then bring the left palm on the inner edge of the left leg. Take high lizard to begin with. Left knee is stacked over left ankle in the same direction as the toes. So we'll keep the knee joint healthy. You can stay here on fingertips as you keep a strong right leg, right hip descending down and forward, or you're welcome to come to forearms. We'll be here for a few breaths, explore it. chosen. Let's meet with palms down. Keep the right palm down. Twist open to left. And high lizard twist here. Keeping the length. Finding new mobility. Left palm comes down to the ground. Right knee down as well. Low lizard. Bend the right knee if it's healthy. Bring the heel to the glute. And then wrap the left palm back down to low back. You're welcome to keep it on the low back, drawing the back towards the sacrum, lengthening spine, or taking the foot with the palm. Your body, your choice. Give yourself permission to be where you are and modify as you need. And 
and release the foot if it's in hand. We'll find high lizard together for a breath, inhale, then glide the left foot down towards the midsection, rotate outer edge. Press away from the ground to expand across the left hip. Lift the left palm, inhale, and sweep the left palm forward, lengthen the left side body. Finding plank, inhale, exhale, step left foot back to right. Find the alignment first, then shift forward, inhale. Bend elbows halfway, exhale. Feel the heart open, inhale. Exhale, press away from the ground. Lift the hips all the way back. And let's take two more cleansing breaths in down dog. Noticing our body this time around, maybe different than last time around. And step the feet together, lift the left leg, open the hips. Direct the left kneecap towards the ceiling. And keep strong, steady arms, equalizing the weight in the shoulders, building the mobility in the hips. And come to neutral, inhale, extend the left leg back. And then exhale, step forward underneath the body. Low runners lunge set up. And then step the feet for crescent. Without lifting into crescent, we're gonna lift halfway torso hovering, long spine. Rotate palms downward to broaden across the chest. Engage and hug in the outer left hip. One more breath, inhale. Then on exhale, hug that belly and press into the left heel. Rise, warrior three. Lift the weight of the body from the standing foot up the inseam of the leg. So feel that drop up to the pelvis. And then from there, expand out from the pelvis in both directions. That will lighten the posture. Ease the balance. One more breath, inhale, and exhale all the way to stand. Should feel really good. Let's take one nice, easy sun salutation A on both sides. I use them to cleanse the body of different movement sequences. So with me together here, inhale, palms reach high, lengthen body. Exhale, fold forward, palms to ground. Simple movements, familiarity, inhale, half lift. Exhale, right foot then left to plank pose. Shift forward, inhale, bend elbows halfway, exhale. Inhale to your back bend, supporting with the core. Exhale, press hips back. Right leg rises, inhale. Step forward on exhale. Notice which muscles you're using to move, inhale, look forward, exhale, left foot steps forward to meet right top of mat. Half lift, inhale. How can you support the motion of the body with the strength of the muscles and the breath? Forward fold, press away from the ground, root rise, lift the energy from inseams of legs all the way upwards to inner arms and fingertips. Exhale, palms by sides. Again, inhale, lift, root, rise, lengthen. Exhale, hinge, fold as you strengthen and descend. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, left foot steps back, followed by right. We'll meet in plank pose. Shift forward, inhale. Lower halfway, exhale. Inhale, peel that heart open. Exhale, press hips away from the ground. Down dog. Left leg rises, inhale. And resist any momentum. Use those muscles. Exhale, step forward, engage them. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right meets left, top of mat, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Draw the heart forward, lengthen spine. Forward fold, exhale. Press away from the ground, inhale, come to stand. Reach the fingertips. Exhale, palms come to heart center. At top of mat, we'll take a balancing tree posture to hip opener. So we'll start at the top of the mat here. Ground down through the left leg. Once you ground down through the left leg, come to the ball of the right foot, engage the belly, engage the core, lift from the pelvis. Then lift the right knee to hip height. 
Draw the knee out with the strength of the hip, keeping the spinal alignment. Now bring the right foot in anywhere on the inner edge of left leg, avoiding the knee for tree pose. Press down through the grounded foot, then lift that energy up the inseam to the pelvis. And palms can be anywhere you like. They can be by the sides. You could lift them. Keep the connection on the midline of the body. So you feel like your energy is pulling up and in rather than splaying out. Pull up in. Find that efficiency of the posture. And from here, bring the palms to the hips momentarily. Soften the standing leg so you feel all the muscles activate. With control, release the, the right foot from the inner edge. From here, bring the right knee forward. Rest the outer right ankle over the top of the left thigh, figure four. Then bend the left knee. Draw the left hip in line with the knee. Continue to sit your seat lower. Reach the fingertips forward, flip the palms upward. That'll help open up the shoulders as you open the hip. Then notice the right hip. Is there tension there? Can you breathe and release? Last final balance in this balancing sequence. Press into the standing foot, bring the palms by the side, release the outer right ankle from the left thigh. Without touching the right foot down, we're going to neutralize the hips. Bring the right heel behind for warrior three. Lift the right heel so it's at hip height. Find those neutral hips. Find the strength of the standing leg to rise from the ground. And then bend the right knee. Touch the left or left knee. Touch the right toes down. Pivot the heel down for warrior one. So right hip starts to rotate forward. Left hip draws back in line. Find neutral hips here. They both face forward. Palms come up first. Inhale. Then bend at the elbows, take cactus arms. Palms behind back, left thumb over right. Soft knuckles draw to the ground if the palms are connected. Lift the heart, breathe in. Humble warrior on exhale. Keep pinning that left hip in towards the midline. Belly comes down to the inner edge of left thigh. Let the top of the head reach down towards the ground, gaze towards back ankle. Press away from the ground here. Rise, warrior one. Then come to the ball of the back foot. Slight rotation at the hip joint. Both hips are still neutral. Arms out wide like a T. Cross the right underneath left for eagle wrap. Any variation, maybe it's a secondary variation from what you started with. Draw the thumbs away from the forehead to broaden across the shoulder blades. From here, hinge forward at the torso. Begin to look forward. Lengthen the spine, but strengthen the entire back body. Press into the left heel. We're rising to full eagle wrap. Right knee comes up. Left knee rebend. Wrap the right thigh across the left. You can take single wrap or double wrap, taking the toes to the inner seam of the left leg. Continue to sit the seat down. Lift the elbows to shoulder height. Draw the palms away from the forehead. One more breath in your eagle. You're welcome to close and fold the eagle if that feels good on your lap, your low back. And then rise from there. Press into standing leg. Undo everything. Whew. Release those hips. Release those shoulders. Give yourself a little wiggle. You have one more side through this. You have it. So standing at the top of the mat once again. Press down through the right leg, lift in the inner seam. Come to the ball of the left leg. Tuck the pelvis down enough so that you feel the strength of those muscles turn on and lift from the pelvis floor, pelvic floor. Left knee comes to hip height, then draws outside to the outer edge of your body with the strength of the left hip. The left sole to the right inner edge will find tree pose. Again, press the energy of the body together. Find the mid seam or the midline so there's an efficiency in what you're doing. Then lift from there, lengthen, palms anywhere you'd like. And 
And bring the palms by the sides here, face them forward. Softly release the left foot from the inner right thigh. Hold that upwards, draw the knee towards the midline. Then begin to bend the right knee, take the outer left ankle for standing figure four on that lower right thigh. As you lower down, right hip draws in line with the right knee. Reach the palms forward, flip them upwards. And that'll help open the chest and the shoulders as you're working to open the outer right hip. Release any tension in the left hip. And press into the standing leg from here. Palms can be by sides once again. Lift the left knee off. Then neutralize the hips as we come through warrior three. Extend the left leg back. Fingertips, fingertips reach back to broaden the chest, lengthening the spine forward. One more breath, inhale, then bend right knee, point those left toes, touch down. Find warrior one, pivot left heel down. Rotate so both hips face forward, adjust the feet, to, the feet as you may need to accommodate the hips. So we're working the hips, we're also working the inner groin, the iliopsoas of the left thigh as we do this. And the left leg. Lengthen, strengthen that left leg, reach the fingertips to the ceiling. And bend the elbows from here, broaden across the chest. And see so palms behind body, interlace, right thumb over left, soft knuckles draw to the ground. Lift the heart, expand the chest, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. Keep the strong legs, right hip pinning in, crown of head reaching forward. And press away from the ground with the feet here. Release the palms. And come to the ball of the back foot. Bring the arms to crescent, then sweep them wide, crossing left underneath right for eagle wrap. The variation or modification that works for you, relax the shoulders down, bring the palms away. Then torso hinges forward over the front thigh. Hug the outer right hip in, feel that strength. Feel the belly drop to the spine. We're activating the fire within the belly, the pelvic strength, and press away from the ground with the right heel. Wrap the left leg <laughs> over the right. Single or double eagle wrap. Lift the elbows to shoulder height, draw the palms away from the forehead. One more breath here. You're welcome to curl in. Woo! Using the strength of the core and the strength of the hips. Then rising, inhale. Pressing away from ground. Woo! Getting out of that side. Wiggling hips, wiggling shoulders. Find some space and mobility in the body to release that. Should feel really good. Inhale, sweep those palms high. And then exhale, bring the palms to heart center, press them together. Rise to the toes. Squeeze the heels together, the calves together, the thighs together. Bend the knees deeply. Sit the seat to the heels. Lowering down slowly with control. Kneecaps direct forward if your knees are healthy. Thighs are parallel to ground. Reach the fingertips forward, flip the palms upwards. We'll sit low, slowly and with control into boat pose. Inhale, then exhale, start to bring the sit bones to the ground. Round the sacrum slightly so you have these opposing actions in the body. And then once that seat sits down, feet lift off ground. Press through the balls of the feet, heels at knee height, or you're welcome to straighten the legs if that's part of your practice. Then lift from the spine, elevate your posture. Palms reach forward, rotating upwards. We're staying here for four more breaths. Find some steadiness, find the strength of the posture. 
and then the ease. Where can you settle in without losing the integrity? Three more breaths, inhale, exhale. For two, and final one. Nice time, inhale as you are, exhale, low boat. So lowering down, rounding the sacrum, hugging this belly in. We're here for four more breaths. For three. For two. Last one. And release, that should feel really good. Whew. All right, bring the feet down to the ground. We're gonna release the back and the belly, or sorry, release the abs with a nice soft bridge. So press into the feet from here, lift the hips off of the ground. You're welcome to bring that block, and I'll do that here, in the inner thighs as you started with. It's a nice way to keep the knees and hips in line. So you're always welcome to do that. You can use a shoe box or a book or something else like a block. From here, choose a shoulder, roll that under your body. Then the other shoulder. If your palms can reach one another, interlace the fingers. Then find that C shape between the fingers. Reach the knuckles towards the inner ankles. Reach the tailbone to the backs of the knees, lengthen the spine from the sacrum. Keep the chin off the chest. And lower everything down to the ground. Take the block out from the thighs if you brought that there to support your bridge pose. And take the right outer ankle over the left thigh. We'll take that figure four again for the moment. Now from here, if you feel like the hips are open enough, you're welcome to lift the left foot off of the ground and thread the needle by taking the palms behind the left thigh. Totally your choice here. And then you'll have this opposing action, flexing right toes back to kneecap, left thigh pulling or pressing into outer right ankle as you direct this right kneecap forward. So we're working to open the outer right hip here. So you have this opposition going on so that we can expand the outer hip. And from here, roll to the left side. As you ground down to the left side, right foot grounds down to the ground. So we're still in a figure four. Now with the left palm, press the right, right leg forward. We're still getting to the outer edge of right leg. Reach that right palm all the way out. And come back to center. Undo the right side. Ground the right foot. Exchange the side, left outer ankle over top of right thigh. And then once you have what works for you, we're gonna lift up. And take the variation, you can thread the needle here. We're really working to find that opposing action of drawing the right thigh in, but still working to press this left knee forward. And then you'll really get it into the outer, the piriformis, which wraps the left hip, a little bit on the out, uh, outer edge of the left quad lower glute. So that's where we're feeling it in a healthy way. We're flexing those toes to activate the muscles that surround the knee, keeping that joint healthy. Maintain this, roll to the right side. Let the left toes touch down. Sweep the left arm out. You'll feel that expansion across the side body. Right palm presses the left knee forward. And then undo this. We're going to come back to center. From here, simply extend one arm back behind you. Roll to your belly. We'll meet on the belly. From the belly, forehead comes down to ground. And reach the fingertips towards your ankles, palms downward. We're going to take one back bend here with belly down for the moment. And so working in locus posture, the shoulder heads draw towards the ears and then downward. I like taking that rolling action. And you're welcome to keep the palms as they are, hip socket with distance, or if you prefer to interlace, because that's better in your body, take the opposite interlace that you took when we did the bridge pose. And then we're just evening out the way that our shoulders operate. 
From here, press the pelvis down, hug the belly in. You should feel like your low belly lifts off the ground slightly, like you have a marble or a, belt, a blueberry underneath your button. That supports the low back, press into the tops of the feet so much that the shins, knees, lower quads lift off the ground. Our energy here is extending from the pelvis, our fire center to the heels, and then upwards to top of head. Maintain that inhale length and exhale lift off the ground. Feet off the ground, forehead, chest, ribs come off the ground. Maintain the length of the body here, firing up in both directions from the pelvis to the heels, the pelvis to the crown of head. One more breath, inhale, exhale, and lower down to the ground. Wiggle that low back, bring the palms upwards towards um, around the head. We give that back a little wiggle. And from here, extend both arms out wide. Left arm at, sorry, we're just gonna extend the left arm out. Fingertips at the same level as the left shoulder. So just look that there's a T in the arm there, 90 degrees of the armpit. From here, begin to press into the right palm. Your gaze is towards your right palm, so you're resting on your left cheek. We're opening up the left shoulder. Stack the right hip upon the left, any amount. And just be healthy in that shoulder, it's super sensitive. So watch out, and then if you'd like, you can step the right foot behind the body, opening up the hips, wherever your body is. I would like for you to not worry about the foot, the hips. If they don't go there, don't worry about it. You can just let the right leg rest. So we just wanna bring our awareness to the left shoulder. Be gentle. And the soft tissues that surround that joint are sensitive, they are tiny. Last fun, final breath here. And take the inhale where you are opening up the shoulder. Then as you exhale, long, slow, eight count, exhale. Come out of the joint, release the joint with breath. No sudden movements here, as you'll notice, it's really sensitive. All right, then stay as you are. You'll extend the right arm out. And then I'm just gonna flip sides so I'm facing you as I speak. Extend the right arm out. Make that a T, 90 degrees at the armpit. Rest upon your right cheek. Start to softly roll over the right shoulder. And then same thing here, you're welcome to step that left foot anywhere behind the back body. Send your breath softly to the joint that we're opening. Visualize the curious breath, exploring from the shoulder joint down the bicep, releasing the bicep, releasing the elbow joint, the palm. The curious breath travels down the right side body, releasing the shoulder. Notice as you bring the breath to the places that you're holding tension, as you visualize it, notice that they release. They say, okay, you got me, I got you. Last breath here. And then exhale. Release on that long exhale. Wherever you are, extend the either arm in front, roll to the back. Let's hug the thighs into the belly. Bring them wider than the rib cage. Take the palms to the feet, happy baby. You can stay here with the knees and the thighs down and the feet near the hips, or you're welcome to extend the feet towards the ceiling. Whatever you choose to do, here I'd like you to notice how your entire back body should be pressing against the ground. From the shoulders all the way down towards the sacrum, all that's pressing down, lengthening the spine. Tailbone directing forward to the front of your space. If you're indoors, it's like it's directing to your baseboards. If you're outdoors, it's directing towards the tip of a brass blade. And Keep the palms on the feet, bring the soles of the feet together towards the inner groins and then spread the knees out wide to feel really good on those groins to release. You're welcome to kind of wiggle at the hips, take any movement. And then release the feet as you are. We'll set our space up for Shavasana. When you set for Shavasana, make sure that you're warm enough Maybe 
place a blanket on, over the hips. Let your body relax down comfortably. And spread the palms wide, flip them upwards, and then take a moment here to tuck the shoulder blades under the body so you feel the shoulder heads draw apart from one another just as we started. Taking the cycle of practice through healthy opening, mobility, exploration, curiosity, strength and expansion, and then grounding back down. Release any active breath of the practice. Let the breath be soft. And as you settle into your foundation, the floor of the earth beneath you, begin to lengthen and soften the exhales. Release, let go. Pay closer attention to the exhales as you drop in. Eventually, the soft breath of the body, the ocean, the night ocean, rolling in and out. You are welcome to stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. It is one of the most important parts of practice, restoring the body from all of the activity that you bring into your everyday. And if you'd like, you're also welcome to join me in a seated position by keeping the eyes closed, and bending the knees, rolling to either side of the body. Taking a breath rounded there, following the soft breath to a comfortable seated position. And bringing the palms together at heart center, the chin tucked in, and a simple gesture of gratitude. And take a breath of thanks, of gratitude, for choosing to show up today, and choosing your mat, choosing yourself your mind, your body, your energy, feeding and healing it. And then blink the eyes open, bring the palms onto the thighs if you are seated. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel revived, restored, and that you have a wonderfully active day ahead. I'll see you all soon.